Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making these super cute kids aprons. These are fun for when they're coloring or painting or they can help you cook. Uh, they're very easy, very beginner friendly tutorial. Anyone should be able to make them. If you have an apron or you don't have an apron, it doesn't matter. You should be able to cut it out and make your own pattern. Anyway, let's just get right into this video. If you like DIY videos, please consider subscribing. I do them every single week. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so for this apron, I used one of my old aprons and I put it on my daughter and I pinned it all up. But you don't have to use an old apron. You can just measure the top like across their chest how wide you want it to be and then measure um, down how far you want it to go. Do you want it to go to their knees or beyond their knees? Whichever. And then what I did is I took it and I folded it in half and then I had some material that was folded in half and I laid this apron right on top of it and I just traced it out. Okay, and you want to make sure you're, this is not going to be like an intricate apron. Like you're cutting very simple, straight across the top, straight down, straight, just straight edges. It will be easier to sew and very beginner friendly. So after you get that cut, then you're going to want to cut a little piece for the pocket. This piece that I cut is 8 inches by 5 inches. And then you're going to cut three big long strips. Mine were about... 23 inches long and an inch and a half wide. So you can cut these down once you're done. If they're too long or something, you can make them smaller. So it's better to start out with them too long and then you can just cut some off if there's ton like a ton hanging in the back where you tie it or something like that. Anyway, now I'm gonna show you how to sew it. I'm gonna take you over to my sewing machine. I'm gonna walk through it step by step with you. So here we go. Okay, so to start with the long strips, what you're going to want to do is fold in each side about a quarter of an inch and then fold it in half and sew it. I show you how to do it. I'm folding in and then sewing it, folding it in, and then sewing it. This just keeps the raw edges on the inside and so it won't fray or anything and will stay nice and neat for the ties that go around the waist and then also the part that goes up over the neck. So you're gonna want to do that for all three of your long strips that you have. Then the next piece I'm taking the pocket and I'm just folding it up just a tiny bit and sewing down just to keep the raw edges again on the inside and you won't be able to see them at all. So I'm just going to do that all the way around it. Fold up about a quarter of an inch and just sew it all the way around. Then after you get done with that, you're going to grab the actual body of the apron and you're gonna do the exact same thing all the way around the apron. You're just gonna fold it and sew it all the way around. And you're just doing, again, like a quarter of an inch, not very much, just to make the front of it look nice and neat. Okay, so I just took it off the sewing machine for a minute just to figure out how to fold this part of it. And it's kind of curved. I wish I would have just done it straight down, but for some reason it got a little bit curved. 
but I just took it off for a second to fold it down and figure out how to get it around the curve and still look good. So I'm just folding it over about a quarter of an inch. Some places on the curve it was like an eighth of an inch. But just going around the curve and up to the top. Now I'm at the top and I'm just folding it over a little bit and doing the same thing. And then I'll do the same thing down the other side and we'll be done with this part. And if you want it to be like exactly the exact same on each side, you can use pins, but I don't like to pin things. I just am eyeballing it. And I'm just gonna hurry and finish this side and then we're gonna add the pockets and the straps and we'll be done. Okay, so I'm just taking one of the long strips that I have and I'm just lining it up with the side and I'm just going to sew back and forth a few times straight down the stitch that I already sewed and then I'm doing that same thing to the other side. And my sewing machine came unthreaded so I had to hurry and rethread it. But you're just putting the strap behind the apron and you're just pretty much tacking it in in place. You're just going to sew back and forth until it's nice and secure and then you're done with that part of the strap. Okay, so now I'm doing the neck piece. I'm just laying the long strip on the back side of the apron and I'm just going to sew it in place. And as you can see, I kind of overlapped it quite a bit. I left a pretty big tail just because I know that this is going to be way too big for my daughter. So I just kind of wanted to get rid of a few inches there. And you can always tie it in a knot in the back if it needs to be pulled up tighter or something if the neck piece is too big. So you can't see, but I'm holding it up to my daughter right now to figure out where I want to put the pocket. And I'm putting the pocket about an inch and a half below like the curve where the armpit will go. And I'm just going to sew it straight onto the apron. I'm just going to start on one side and I'm going to go down and around, leaving the top open so that they can use it as a pocket. And you're just sewing on the stitch that you already made when you um, folded the raw edges in. And then you just need to cut off all of the extra strings and you're done. And look how cute it looks. She loves it and I love it. And it was super easy and fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing. I do DIYs every single week. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.